Good morning. Welcome to Crochet with Nana Rosanna. I'm Rosanna and today is Whip Weekend number 106. It's May 3rd, 2024. I hope you've all had a wonderful weekend uh, or week, sorry, and hopefully a great weekend upcoming. I had a busy, busy week. I um, was trying so hard to finish my book cover inspiration blanket and I finally got it done just in time and um, put that video out uh, for uh, people that didn't see the blanket. I'm just going to show it to you now because I'm so proud of it and it was awesome I, and it's going to be for my grandson. He turns three in a couple months so let me grab that. It's quite big and that's why it took me so long to do. So there's the blanket. Oh, it's hard to reach out. So it's three 18 wheelers and it's about five foot by six foot. So uh, it's going to fit his bed and I know his mom's going to love it. So that's what I worked on most of last week and all through the weekend that's all I did and like I said just in time I, I was sewing in the ends the night before actually I was sewing in the ends the last day of the month so I could put the video up at the beginning of this month so not too many whips and no finished items except for that blanket um, so it's probably gonna be a shorter video than usual and at first, and I'd like to thank everybody for joining. I um I feel bad that I don't have that many uh, finished items, but that was such a huge blanket, and um, I was determined to get it done before the end of the month. So, other than making the blanket, I had my first baseball game. We lost terribly. Our three top players, uh, the mom and, and the daughter. Uh, they were on vacation and another girl couldn't make it to the game. So our three top players weren't there, but we held our own. It was, um, I think maybe 14 to 10, but we all had a great time. We came back here. I had made chili for everybody and normally our parties last till about 10 and then everyone disperses and they're quite shorter at the beginning of the season. And by the end, we stay a little longer of summertime. Women didn't leave till after 11. We had so much fun. It is going, you know what, even if we don't win a game, we are going to have so much fun this summer. All the women are wonderful. We all get along and um, it's so neat because in the baseball league I play in, every year you're on a different team. We're all rated between 1 and 10, so all the teams could be uh, even and the three captains get to pick the uh, players on their team. So we had so much fun. I am going to be tired a lot this summer because uh, I'll be staying out late and um, looking forward to next week's game. And I think that's on Tuesday. So, you know, that's one less day and one last evening of crocheting. But uh, it's it's baseball was my first passion. So uh, I love doing it. And playing with my daughter is extra, extra special. So the baseball losing but uh, the party made up for it and uh, I have a busy busy weekend ahead of me it is Friday today and I will be picking Paige up my granddaughter from school and my daughter lives about oh, 25 half an hour uh, away from my house so I'll be heading out there to pick her up and I'm probably going to go early go visit Michael's because it's near her school and um, bring her home because our rush hours, my 20 minute drive on the highway during rush hour can take anywhere up to an hour and a half. So I want, I'll go there midday and I'll probably sit in my car and do some crocheting while I'm waiting for the end of her school day. So once I finish this video, I will um, tidy up a little bit, not much to do, but, uh, and then head out to Hamilton and pick my granddaughter up. She'll be spending the weekend with us. But she is in the Hamilton, the um, Children's Hamilton Choir, and they have their final performance on Saturday. So I have to bring her back out to Hamilton Saturday for 1.30 um, to, I believe it's in a, in a church downtown Hamilton. And I have to drop her off. And then I have to kill some time because the performance isn't until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So um. I'll probably be sitting in my car. I might actually go to my daughter's house and just hang out at her house. They're gone for the weekend. So I might just hang out there and watch some videos and stuff 
till four o'clock and then go watch a performance. Then we'll head back home. And Saturday night, um, you all know my husband and I are huge, huge sports fans and our Toronto Maple Leafs won last night. So they're playing Boston's in the playoffs in the first round. And now it's tied 3-3. We were down three games to one. So uh, Saturday night's going to be wild. And if Toronto wins, it, downtown Toronto's going to go crazy because Boston is our nemesis. We've never beat them in a round in the playoffs. So it's going to be fun a Saturday night. Paige won't like it. I'll set her up with uh, headphones on and she can watch a movie while we're watching the hockey game. And then on Sunday, Paige and I are going to another wedding shower. So uh, my weekend is going to be so busy. I'll probably get no crocheting done. And Amanda doesn't get home till Monday. So Monday morning, she's probably going to be late for school. But uh, Amanda said I could keep her out of school. And I thought, you know what? I might as well bring her after rush hour back into Hamilton. And then that way they can just pick her up after school. So that's my busy, busy plans for the weekend. I'm just looking. I think I've got nothing else. You know, Friday night, I'm not going to cook. We'll order something in. We'll let Paige decide what she wants. So let's get into our whips. Like I said, I didn't get that much done. So there's a few things. I've started a new paint by number. And I'll put the picture of what it's supposed to look like up and I've gotten that far in it. You can't tell what it is, but it is a flower basket. And um, the colors are turning out perfect today. It's a very, very cloudy day. We're supposed to get thunderstorms again this evening. Everybody's getting rain everywhere. So that's my first whip. I didn't do much on my diamond painting, so I'm not going to show that. I'm very proud of myself. I did get over 20 rows done on my sock that I'm making. So I think I've got uh, maybe another five rounds and then I can uh, start on the heel. So I'm really pleased how much I've gotten done. I've been doing this a lot in the morning. I'm, I'm a very, very slow knitter and the um, stitches are so tiny. I'm using a US Zero, which I think is a 2.0 or a 2.25 millimeter nine inch circular needles. So I'm really pleased with that. And uh, my granddaughter Paige keeps asking, when are you making my socks, Nana? So as soon as I get those done, I will start on her socks. So those are my morning crafts that I do. And then I, ha I did not see a video on the album Theory 101 that I do every week. So uh, it may come out today and then I'll show it next week. Uh, but uh, didn't, did that, didn't get that done. And I did not see the under the sea uh, square for this month as of yet. So hopefully we'll see it this weekend and I can uh, get that square done. So I did watch Judy's um, reveal for May. And this is the picture here. I've got as far as picking out my yarns. So I've got it in my clear bag here. And I'm going to be using black and it's just a, a mega value yarn that I got from Mary Maxim when I took my trip up there. So I'll be using that. And then left over from my, uh, my blanket, I have some blue. So I'll be using this blue and it's Red Heart and it's turquoise or turquoise. And then left over from, I've got the leftover yarns in here, but this uh, color is bright yellow, I believe. Yeah, that's the color there. So those are the colors I've chosen to do the bird melon. I haven't picked out a pattern yet, but um, I picked out the colors. So that's one thing. So that's going to be something I'll be working on. Let me just put this to the side. I'll be working on that during the week. My husband is gone for the week. He's um, heading to Vancouver and then Winnipeg. So he's gone Monday to Friday and I'll see him Friday night. So I have the whole week to myself. So when I'm not at my baseball game, I will be crocheting and knitting away, hopefully. So that's one of the whips I'll be working on. And I here I did get the movie Marquee. And I forgot the name of the movie, but I'll put the poster up. And I did start this yesterday. 
while I was um, after cleaning up after the party. And I thought, I'd, okay, I've cleaned enough, so I'll just sit down. So let me just get the squares out. So the colors I'm using, this is tomato from Loops and Thread. It was the old Craft Smart, so hopefully I have enough. And it, it's just a, a red with a little orange undertone, and that's probably about the color there, maybe just a little bit brighter. So I'm using that to put this to the side. And then I'm using orange, and this is getting blown out out of proportion, but it's a bright orange, like a pumpkin orange. And this came when I went to Cambridge Fibers, and they give you the huge garbage bag full of uh, yarn ends, and it's like misfits, you know, if the machine breaks, there's like, you know, half a skein. They, you know, pull it off and they just throw it in the garbage bag. So uh, they sell that and I got it on a deal. I got two green garbage bags full of yarn for $25. So uh, this was one of the colors that I um, untangled and it comes, it's disastrous. Uh, when I head up to Cambridge again, I don't need any yarn. My yarn room is overflowing with yarn, but by the end of the year, I'll probably go up there again and grab another uh, garbage bag full of yarn for my project. So not sure. It feels like Red Heart. And it's a pumpkin color. It's not coming out. Some colors turn out really well and some do not. Like this color. It's a little lighter, but some colors turn out and they don't. And the other colors I'm using is, this is from the blanket too. I got the packs of three uh, red hearts from Amazon for $19.95, I think. And this is country blue. And it's red heart super saver. And then I have a Bernat Cozy style in the color gray, keeping it in the bag. But the yarn barf that came out of here, it's still in the bag there. So those are the colors. So this gray is called, let's see, soft gray. So I thought this is a good color for the jeans. It's uh, a little bit darker than what it's showing up. It's probably like this color right here. So those are the colors that I'm using. Just get this out of the way. And I have uh, made my first square, decided I liked it. So this is what the blanket's gonna look like. Right there, I'll take a picture of the square, that way you can see the proper colors and I'll put it up on the other side. But um, it's just a granny square. Uh, four rounds and then I go around with a, uh, a row of single crochets and then another granny square and I believe I have enough to go four across and these are seven inch squares seven seven fourteen twenty eight and that'll give me uh, 28 width and then two inches on either side for the border so that'll work out perfect so started I'm doing assembly line doing all the colors in a row so I've got that was my uh, test, and I was very pleased with that. I thought it would be a nice, more masculine uh, blanket than, you know, my pinks and my purples that I love using. So uh, that's a square, and I've got that done, and I've got all the little orange ones completed. And I've sewn in all my ends except for the middle here that I will have to do. But... Um, I love making granny squares and especially in the summertime when we're outside a lot of the time so the blanket doesn't have to sit on me and get hot. After making that huge uh, truck blanket and some days my husband was freezing and I was warm as could be because I had the blanket sitting on me. So those are all the squares. They're completed and that's what I'm doing for this month's movie marquee. Oh, I missed one there too. So those are the squares for my movie marquee. And I think it's going to be quite nice once it's completed. And then my final whip for today is my uh, crocheted cotton top that I'm just winging it. So this is going to be the back panel. And I'm on ball. I'm not sure what you call these. Ball number four. So I will definitely have, I've got 12 altogether, so I will definitely have enough to do. But I will, I, th I still think I'm going to um, at the bottom. So that's how far I've gotten. 
So another, uh, once I finish this, that'll add another three or four inches on. And then what I'm going to do is I started off with a row of single crochet. I'm going to do half double crochet in black and then do a couple rows of the, uh, the blue again. So I'm really looking forward to this. So this fits around me and it's probably got positive ease of Ooh, two inches so it'll be positive use of four because it's cotton and you know even though I'll wash it by hand it still may shrink a little bit so that's how far I've gotten on the back panel like I said I'm on uh, ball number four and I have six per panel and the front won't use as much as the bottom because once I get to this height I will split it off to make a V so right about there is where I am from and I've got this coming to probably, I'm short-waisted, so two inches below my belly button. So probably got another skein, uh, ball and a half, and that'll bring it up to the top here. So I'm really pleased with this, and this is getting washed out. It's a, uh, a nicer blue than showing up. And I'll continue to work on this. This is probably what I'll take when I um, sit in the car and wait for Paige. So those are my whips for this week. I have received uh, Judy from Judy's Creations gift. Oh, Judy, I'm so sorry. I will put her uh, channel name up here. She did another mystery bag and I purchased one. I've got it here. Haven't opened. Well, I've sliced it open and um, I will be doing a video of my mystery bag for you probably next week. I'll have lots of time to do it. So uh, that's what I'll do next week, this week. And like I said, it's going to be really, really busy. And I only have one finished item and it's not even crochet or knit. It is my uh, painting that I did and it's right here. It's getting washed out a bit. So I will put a picture of it and I just love it. It's so pretty and delicate. I'm really, really pleased with it. So that's what I completed this week. So like I said, I was working so hard on my book cover inspiration that um, everything else went by the wayside. So I hope you have a wonderful weekend and um, get y'all your whips done. I will not. And we will see you midweek for my mystery bag unboxing. See you soon. Bye for now.